1. Groom your dog well. Avoid trimming, shaving, or cutting your dog's hair because a dog's full weight coat is his source of warmth during winter. It is important to maintain a good grooming regime, combing out knots and brushing the coat thoroughly, through winter too, as matted hair is less efficient at keeping out the snow and cold rain, and does not insulate the dog as well. Consistent grooming can alleviate dander problems in dogs living through dry winters, should this be a problem for your dog. 2. Bathe your dog indoors. Make sure your dog is completely dried before letting him or her outside. Give fewer baths during cold snaps, or consider skipping baths altogether. Remember, in cold weather it takes the dog longer to dry off. This will help you to keep them away from severe cold problems. If important, give shorter baths with warm water and dry your dog as quickly as possible. Never bathe a dog in cold water, as this will chill him or her, and the low atmospheric temperature will give him or her little chance to warm up. 3. Keep the hair around paw pads well trimmed. This will help prevent ice and snow balling up between foot pads. After walks outside, check paw pads for cracks, cuts, and any foreign debris. Where practical, keep his or her pads in good condition by applying a little Vaseline or E45 to condition them, but beware of sticky paw prints over the house though. If your dog won't wear dog booties, be sure to clean off the salt and snow removal chemicals after every walk, the chemicals can be toxic and the salt will become an irritant. 1. Guard against canine winter illnesses. As with humans, dogs can fall ill during the colder months especially when cold or as a result of winter conditions. Respiratory infections in damp climates, frostbite, and consumption of toxic substances are some of the principal concerns. 2. Keep your dog dry and warm. This will help to guard against respiratory infections, such as kennel cough, the human equivalent of a cold. If your dog gets a respiratory infection, seek veterinary attention immediately. Be aware that if you have several dogs all sharing the same air space, such as in a communal kennel, then illnesses are more likely to spread. 3. Frostbite can be a problem for some dogs, especially hairless varieties. Check the ear tips and tail tips in particular. If they look and feel cold, appear white, red, or gray, and slash or are dry and hard, then frostbite may have occurred. If you suspect frostbite, Wrap your dog's extremities in blankets or towels to warm them gradually and see the vet immediately. 5. Pay attention to your dog's existing ailments. Your dog's arthritis and osteoarthritis can be exacerbated by cold weather. Talk to your vet about medication, treatment options, and ways to keep your arthritic dog fit and warm through winter. 6. Take shorter walks when the weather is severely cold. Don't try to take your dog on the same length walks as during warmer weather. A shorter walk can still accomplish enough exercise and relief breaks without causing your dog, and you, to become too cold. Even if you are indoors, keep exercising. Play indoor games with your dog, such as fetch, tug of war, hiding toys, and if it's possible to let them run around inside, then do so. Run them up and down the stairs for agility practice. Keep in mind that if your dog has some joint or hip problems they may not be able to run, so just let them walk up and down the stairs. 7. Be aware that sheet ice is slippery for dogs as well as people. Slipping on ice can lead to strains and sprains, so never encourage your dog to play on ice, especially games such as fetch or frisbee. Keep dogs away from icy ponds or bodies of water. The ice may look firm, but if the dog falls through he could drown. Unfortunately, people trying to rescue their dogs also drown, so sad as it is never be tempted to try to rescue your dog.